Perfect. So I'm very sure that you were able to put everything together as I asked in the previous video. And just in case, I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. So it's pretty much going to be a repetition. The only thing we're going to do here is that we're going to change our instantiation from socket object to socket adapter, which is the class one. So I'm going to create another private message, private static void. I'm going to call this testing class adapter. Okay, nothing new here. So I am going to create this socket again, socket adapter, call this socket adapter, new socket adapter implementation. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing. In fact, I'm just going to go and copy all of this. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Paste it all in there. And even the these. Okay, it's a very bad habit, but you get the idea. Okay, so that's it. Right. So now if we go ahead and call Actually, we need to change this from object to class. And there we go. Um, let's go ahead and call this. Oops. Go ahead and call this testing class as such and give it a run. And we should see the same behavior. So nothing really will change except that we now know that the class is also working. Very nice. So um, it may seem very small or very unnecessary, but this is another design pattern that you will see over and over being used in any language, of course, for that matter, that you may be using, right? It's another way of thinking of putting together robust software and organizing, making sure that the problems that you're solving as you create your, your applications you in your preferred language, you have these tools, these design patterns that you can use to help you. And as in anything, uh, and as I've been openly sharing with you, this is just a way of thinking. This is just a guide that will help us when necessary. So it's not something you have to um, sacrifice the simplicity that your application, that your code is supposed to have just because you want to use a design pattern. Okay, so this is a way of thinking. This is a guide that will help you guide, will help you when you need to solve problems that will require a certain way of thinking about the code that you're putting together. Okay, another tool in the toolbox that you can use. As an exercise, I would like you to go and think of other implementations of other examples you, you can use to showcase this design pattern. Okay, and once you do that, I would like you to share with me with us so I can take a look and we can go ahead and perhaps create a discussion and continue to discuss further and learn more. Again, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.